how many times do, should the person get forgiven for doing the same thing? Well, I, it depends on the person and, and what they can tolerate. Mine is three. I give you three chances. Three chances. Okay. Um, I don't know because um, I don't know. I've been forgiven plenty of times for the same thing, and I have forgiven someone plenty of times for the same thing. So I can't. I can't put a number on it. I absolutely can't. So what if if you why? If you've forgiven somebody or somebody seeks forgiveness for something, why why then you continue to do the same thing? Um, yeah, I was going to say it really just depends. That situation lies, no, that, that's something that should not keep continuously happen, happening. But you know, if somebody asks you to work on something and you know. It's it's kind of hard to just go cold turkey with certain things and it not happen again. However, if the things keep on happening, persisting over years and years, then that person probably isn't going to change it and you need to figure out what's the next step, which is probably stop talking. Mm -hmm. I, I think like, so for me, because like, like now I like me, now I'm not lying about shit. So if somebody lied to me, it will probably be less than three times because I'm so open and I tell I will tell you any fucking thing. And if you lie to me, then I'm like, what's the fucking point? Like I tell you every fucking thing. So why you don't have to lie to me about nothing? I agree. Um, I really feel like like I, I tell people all the time, let me get mad over the truth versus the lie. Because if you tell me the truth, I'm not gonna go off. I might cry a little bit. But I'm not gonna go off. Mm -hmm. Now, if I find out via a lie, I'm gonna go off. I'm gonna cry. I'm gonna break shit. I don't want to do that. But if you tell me the truth, most likely I'm a I'm gonna forgive you. Right. And I will respect that. When you when you continue to lie, then you you lose respect. You yeah. lose, lose trust. It's a lot of shit that goes out with that. Yeah. And, so, and, and, and I, but I, why I didn't tell her, you know, when she told me about it on Friday when I saw her. I was already drinking so of course i'm just like i don't know i don't know what to do because i was drinking you know but in my sober mind i would have been like girl tell him that they some punk asses that don't want outside guys in the goddamn um at the joint and that's what it is you know what i'm saying like, I mean, like honestly every year it'd be the same people yeah, the same exact people. Same people. I, I remember they some of them because it's that is there is like literally the exact same people. The only people that was missing this time was Matt and the twins, and I think D came one time. Like those were the people that was missing. <laughs> It'd be the same exact people. So um, you know, like I said, I wasn't able to give her the best, the best advice because don't ask me for anything serious after I start drinking. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, you, you can't even crazy. talk to me. Seriously. <laughs> yeah. But I mean, hopefully, you know, things will, <coughs> excuse me, will be better with them. I still got this cough. It's been like, I feel like it like two months. But anyway, um, yeah, hopefully things will get better with them. So my little, my little new boo, everything is still good, y'all. It's still early in the game, but we'll see. <laughs> I wish we could see like each other more, but I get it, you know. He got his shit going on. I did ask him if he talked to other people, y'all. Did he answer I you? I don't like know you? Huh? Did he talk to other people like you? Like me? Like you do? Oh, I told him. I don't even talk to people. I mean, I talk to the girls, but I don't, I don't talk to any men. So you what can talk to the girls then. I, no, I'm not knocking him for who he talked to. I was just asking. But he, he said that he don't have time to talk to females. Mm, mm. But I'm going to take it. I'm going to believe him until, you know, prove it otherwise. I don't know. We'll see. I'll keep y'all posted. I, was, I wasn't I was trying to look through his phone, but when I, I was taking out his braids, right? And then a text message came through and when he opened it, you know how you, the person sitting in front of you when he opened it and I was looking, but you know, I can't see that far and it looked like it was a kissy face, but I don't know. But 
whatever. It could have been his mama or his kids because he got two of them. Anyway, so far, so good. We'll see. Even if he do talk to people, that's fine. But, like, don't lie about it. Like, I told him what's going on with me. So don't lie. So you you in the dating guys with kids now? Um, I am not. Um, you gotta be. But, your person has kids, and your last person I, had kids. No, I, I I said I'm not, but I am trying to be a little bit more open with it. Not sure how far I will go. We will see. His kids are a little older too, and I would rather talk to somebody that have kids if their kids are like older and when I say older I mean like nine ten and above <laughs> like no baby baby that's like a month or like a no one kids that's gonna kick you in like, the chin yeah no no like they can take care of themselves they big enough all that but I don't know like I said it's still it's still new so we'll see um but I don't, I don't talk to any other guys, and which I was talking to my best friend, uh, Tad, and he said that I need to talk to other guys so I don't be disappointed if something happened with him. I think it's totally okay to even in the beginning stages to date one person at a time. Um, you know, if it don't work out and you're disappointed, you'll still be disappointed whether you're talking to somebody or not, you know? <laughs> but at least you can kind of give him your full attention to know if it's going to work out I feel like in the beginning if you're dating multiple people you're still getting to know everybody so you want to hang out with everybody you got to spend time with um, not spend time but spend time texting on the phone all that stuff with everybody so you're not giving your full attention to one person mm -hmm. so if either way you may get disappointed give it your all first now, I ain't saying give it your all, like, go out and be like, hey, let me buy you a Maserati, guy, that I just met. No. But you can be <laughs> like, oh, I got us a picnic date. You know, meet me here. Or, you know, whatever yeah, your morning rotation text is. Whatever. You know, something like that. I, I told him that I was going to take him on a date. And I'm going to really do it. You should. I, like, I don't know what men like. Should I buy him some flowers? <laughs> I like flowers. Yeah. Oh. Um, why, why shouldn't men get flowers? Like, people always make it seem like it's a lady thing. I don't think oh. men really like flowers. Well, I mean, I, I put flowers in my house, but I don't think uh, men really are going to appreciate the gesture of having flowers. Yeah, I don't man. know. You want to give him a gift? Well, give him a single what? rose. I mean, because you know how people, when, when, when guys Does he pick smoke? Up and take, to take you out, they have flowers. Well, y'all guys wouldn't know because y'all don't go out with guys. But some guys, like, they come pick you up and they have flowers. Like, ooh, flowers. So what can I give? I got to pick him up and share. smoke? Yes. Give him some tree, but, like, here's some flowers. Ooh! That's cute. That's, That's cute, cute. But that also sounds like the guys that be bringing the bottle just to try to get the girl drunk and get her drawers. So you try <laughs> to get them high so you can slide up in them drawers. But y'all both smoke. Like smoke. <laughs> what do <is> you <laughs> Y'all both smoke. Just holler at me. Yeah. I, I do I do I, like the idea of saying, oh, I got you some flowers. Because, you know, you can make it cute. Put it in a cute bag. Or, mm -hmm. oh, you remember that year I made Kiki a pinata and put some tree in it? Yes. Yeah, so. that, that was some good flowers. That was so hard to make that damn pinata, y'all. Oh, I'm going to think of something. And I, got, I need a place to take them. That's gonna be cute. Uh, yeah, yeah. Okay. They're gonna forget their child. Huh? Yeah. Look, hey, hey, Q. Well, yeah. Two months ago, she's like, "I'm never taking a nigga out." I'm trying to change y'all. I think you. I think it's absolutely good for you to change, Ronnie. Take him out. I'm you know, you. When the last time you took a guy out? It's been years. Years. So actually, I bought a pizza. Remember that time when I oh, yeah. got that pizza? But that wasn't a date. That wasn't a date. No, it wasn't. So, yeah. Take my man out. Let him, uh, you know, have a good time. Mm -hmm. You don't got to take him to Fogo de Sean, like you were saying, though. That's a long time. Hey, yeah, we ain't about to break my pockets. Yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. I don't think you should do that, but I absolutely... <laughs> M4 girls taking guys on dates. I think guys absolutely deserve it. 
you know, not all of them, just like all girls don't deserve it. But, you know, mm-hmm. if you're trying to pursue somebody, pursue them. Now, I'm not saying pay for five, six dates in a row. No. Oh, you guys can rotate her right now and again or something, you know, but. I'm only doing one. It's going to be well, you're only, one. Let's say, for example, Ronnie, if you <laughs> are only given, let's say, one date a month, right, where, that you pay for, it has to kind of be 